A new man passing by. Life is good, best I've ever felt. Hi, friends. Um, first of all, <laughs> yes, I'm wearing this sweatshirt often. The shirt underneath that is like fresh, clean. Also, I haven't filmed for a couple days, so. <laughs> um, anyway, I, it is my favorite shirt these days, sweatshirt, uh, that is. And I wouldn't be wearing it if it was not raining every day, but um, I am trading out my clothes. It just, we've been, had a couple days. Um, but I am just getting home from Target. It is Saturday. Mm. And right now I'm trying to hold up my camera and my camera weighs like maybe a pound <laughs> like it doesn't weigh anything and my elbow I don't know if I've ever talked about this I'm gonna talk to you about it in a second this elbow um it's just aching holding this one pound oh it's just the position um camera um, let me, but I just got home from Target. I have a few groceries that I can't get at Costco. Did you know at Costco you can only get a beef and a chicken packet of ramen? And if you have teenagers, you have to have ramen in the house or else they'll scold you. So, I have a few things that I got from Target. It actually, like, by the time I was filling up my cart, I was like, this is a condiment run. I'm literally doing a condiment run. Let me show you. And then I will tell you about my elbow and what I'm gonna hopefully go do about it. Okay, so ignore the shoes. These are actually, are there, are there shoes in here? Oh, those are for my friend. Going to her house tonight for game night. Okay, look at this, yeah, it's condiments. It's ranch, uh, syrup, Fair Life milks. Gotta convince my kids to not drink our milks. I, anyway, but then we have ramen here. I have like, this one here has all the other ones. There's like multiple packs of them. I'd like to buy them in bulk at uh, Costco, but they don't sell just chicken. Abby wanted me to get mac and cheese at Costco too, and I totally forgot. I forgot to add it to my list. So I just got five boxes of them. They were on sale at Target. Um, this is the bag to go inside. So we have syrup, ketchup, sweet and sour sauce for the, the spring rolls we get at Costco now. And then we have some shampoo. We finally have decided that that's the shampoo we all want to use. And then I got Ashley a cake and cake mix to make Chelsea a birthday cake for probably dinner tomorrow for Sunday. And yeah, so you can see it's just kind of a condiment run. I actually wanted to get syrup and ranch yesterday and ketchup at Costco yesterday. I just don't need condiment volumes of ketchup, despite what Kaylee thinks. <laughs> and they, they didn't have ranch or syrup. Hello, Ash, are you here? Of course she's here, she's on her iPad, probably. Oh, I just have groceries to bring in. Did Abby go to work already? Okay, all right. Well, I don't think I need to put any of this in the fridge right now. I did get you a cake mix, Ash. Do you wanna make Chelsea a cake mix, a cake? For tomorrow, can you just do a square cake? Not a square, like a rectangle cake. Look, I hope this what help Chelsea likes rainbow chip. <laughs> she doesn't? Are you for real? Go and ask her. This is all Ashley wants. And Chelsea still has birthday candy so all right I'm gonna hang on I'm gonna tell her what I'm gonna do then I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna go do all right let me just back up here get some better light and I'll explain one why Ashley doesn't really know <laughs> that there's anything wrong with me and two what's wrong oh okay also ignore the Cyclops it's actually not a zit it's just, <laughs> it's just skin that just, anyway, okay, so I don't know when it started. It was not an injury, or maybe it was, I have no idea, but my left elbow, and I would show you, except I don't want to take my sweatshirt off until I actually get to urgent care. Actually, I should just drive, because it's an hour and a half wait. I checked online. It's an hour and a half wait time, but you can't make an appointment online. 
He used to do that and it was wonderful. So you just go and check in and then sit in your car, which luckily I can watch a show in my car. So I don't know when the injury started. I, but it's what I, I, I have a lot of, um, explaining, I guess. Um, it's not bone. It's not like I fell on it. It's, it feels like a ligament or a muscle. Um, it's probably a ligament. At the time it started to hurt, I thought I just like slept on it funny. I like to sleep on my belly with my arms crooked underneath my head. And it's the worst position for me to sleep in. One, from my back. And then two, because it was really starting to hurt my shoulder. So I was trying to really be conscious of not sleeping on my stomach just was trying to make a conscious effort not to do that. Maybe that's why my elbow hurt and it was only achy at certain times. And so I just kind of just let it go, did better sleeping, not on it. But just over time, I just kept noticing it getting, just like it was just there, but I couldn't ever define, okay, it hurts when I do this. It hurts this time of day. It hurts for this reason, kind of a thing. I don't know, like a week ago, I think I called my dad and I was talking to him about it. I was also telling him how our trip was and everything like that. But I was just asking him about it and what he kind of thought it was. I don't ever try and have my dad diagnose me over the phone by any means, even if he FaceTimed me. I don't ever require him to like give me an actual diagnosis. I just like having medical conversations and understanding what the issues could be in order to like be able to have an educated conversation with a doctor if I need to go to a doctor. And so I was asking him about it and how long it's been an issue and that it doesn't always hurt. And is that, that's why I haven't gone in because it doesn't always hurt. The more I describe the pain and the day I called him and that, and this is when it's starting to get worse. And it hurts really, really bad when I am walking from, you know, mile after mile after mile. I can't open it. I can't fully open it and extend it all the way and lock my, you know, elbow in. And I also sometimes can't bend it. But when I'm walking and your arms are dangling, dangling down to your side, it aches because I want to be able to extend my arm all the way down. I want to stretch it, you know, and I can't. Like, I can't even, like, if even if it hurt, I can't do that. And then as I'm walking and I'm walking and I'm walking, it gets tighter and tighter and tighter. And the last time I was walking, just a few days ago, I literally couldn't bend my arm enough to look at my watch. I couldn't twist my wrist to look at my watch. Like, not even, like, moving my arm from down at my side. I couldn't even twist my wrist to look at my watch to see what time it was or to see how many steps I had run or walked or whatever. And I was like, okay, this is getting worse. And then every time I was walking, it was doing that. Even just walking around Costco yesterday, it was doing that. Target today, it's doing that. Like it's just getting stiffer and stiffer the more it has to hang down, the more I'm holding things. And then I go back to like doing nothing and it doesn't hurt at all. So when I was talking to my dad about it, you know, he's like, you definitely wanna have that looked at. It's likely gonna need to go to an orthopedic specialist just because um, you're gonna need to ultimately probably get an MRI on it because it's a ligament. And it could be as easy as inflammation in the joint um, and it just gets inflamed at certain times when the, the elbow is being used more than not. And then you can't bend it because it's inflamed and the cartilage is blocked from the bone and blah, blah, blah. So he's like, you're gonna need a referral to the orthopedic specialist. So just go ahead and go to a general practitioner, go to your doctor, tell her about it, and then she'll give you the referral to go and have it checked out by the specialist, which ironically is probably going to be the same doctor that has done Ashley's casts. <laughs> so the problem I have is that, first of all, and I don't even rake me over the coals for this, and I will explain, I have never had a general practitioner. I've never had a, an actual doctor. And part of that as, I came into adulthood and got married. I didn't have insurance for a year um, until I got a full-time career. Um, and so then I didn't pick up a regular doctor because I just picked up an OB. Like I just wanted an OB and I, the only medication I needed to be on was my thyroid medication and my birth control and then I had babies and then that was the only kind of doctor I needed at the time. Now I have an endocrinologist and they 
do all the blood work I need to check and I'm working with her. She has been trying to get on me to get a regular practitioner, which I said last year, I said, okay, let me just get my new insurance signed up next year and I'll get one because I know it would be beneficial. The majority of my life, I haven't been sick. I haven't had issues that these two doctors that I've always had haven't been able to help me fix. And I have a father who's a physician and, and a sister and a sister-in-law who nurse practitioners and I'm not using them as medical treatment. I just get advice. I don't get sick that often. I don't get whatever. I call around with my new insurance, went through a list of the doctors, very limited number, as I'm sure some of you can understand. And the only offices who are taking new patients, I can only schedule appointments in September. It's April. <laughs> and I even asked one of the offices, at, like the front desk, I was like, okay, I have an injury that I kind of need looked at. It's like a, you know, it's a minor injury, but I really don't want to have to go to urgent care for it. I would really like to talk to a doctor because I think I need to get a referral for a specialist for it. And she's like, okay, make the appointment for September. <laughs> so it leads me to today. So when I was talking to my dad about this, I kind of was explaining that problem to him. And he's like, well, you can give urgent care a shot because I've gotten referrals from urgent care for orthopedic specialists from for every single one of my children. They've all had injuries, good or, you know, good or bad, or, I mean, they've all had injuries that resulted in either a break or a sprain or whatnot. Like Ashley's, the last thing wrong with her was her ankle or whatever. I did get the same <laughs> referral for the same orthopedic surgeon. I just didn't end up needing to go to them because it turned out it was just a sprain and it was fine and she recovered. And so my hope today is that I can get that referral, that I can explain to the doctor today at urgent care my situation. I'm not trying to like scan the system. I'm gonna have to pay for this urgent care visit. I just, I just need a referral to the actual doctor who's actually gonna be able to figure out what's wrong with my elbow. My dad is almost convinced it's a ligament issue. Either it's torn or it is inflamed and it needs to get injections, steroid injections um, to relieve that pressure. So that's my really convoluted story and why I've never ever said anything about it with you guys over the past couple months. I also didn't wanna deal with it with the trip. Like I didn't want to find out that there's anything drastically wrong with it and have it get in the way of our trip. And I know that's wrong, but last thing I wanted to do was like either have surgery or being in a sling or knowing the injury was serious and then going on a trip to a different country and to Hawaii, yada, yada. You see what I mean? So now that I've talked your ears off for 10 minutes, I'm going to go to urgent care. Take two on another urgent care. Um, I've been going to that urgent care and I don't even know, my my 10 years, 11 years, I hate my new insurance with, with a passion. So I'm gonna give this place a, call, a shot. They say they take my insurance. Good news is they do take my insurance and it's kind of nice because they um, make appointments. So I have an appointment in an hour and 25 minutes, which is the same wait time that I was probably gonna have at the other place. The nice thing about this is that it's an actual appointment time. At the other place, if they can fit you in sooner, you only have five minutes to make it to the urgent care in order to take that earlier spot. Otherwise, you're off the roster. And so you have to sit in the parking lot and you have to sit and wait. So this is kind of nice that I can actually just leave and come back at the actual appointment time. Unfortunately, I don't have anything to do out and about. So I'm gonna fill out my paperwork online to make sure I don't have anything, any questions or whatnot, and then um, I will come back in an hour and a half. Actually, it's like an hour, because I'm like 20 minutes away from home, so. <laughs> what can I do for, can I do something for an hour? I might as well just sit out here for an hour, because it's 20 minutes home, 20 minutes back, that leaves only 40 minutes at home. 
Only Chelsea and Ashley are at home and they're just, Ashley is super tired today. She went to open gym at her friend's cheerleading facility. They're on different squads. And so um, she worked and did that until like 8 p.m. last night. So she's super tired today. So I'm just kind of letting them be at home. They did do their chores. Um, so I'm just letting them have a day of rest. And that's the only reason why I would go home. But she's just really, really tired. So I'm just, I'm just I think I'm just gonna stay out and turn on a movie. I can't even tell you how frustrated I am and how badly I can't wait till November comes and I can change my stupid insurance again. I asked this lady to check in at Urgent Care an hour and a half ago. Can you please just get the insurance put in to the system so that I can guarantee that you take my insurance? I showed her my insurance card and she's like, yeah, we take that insurance. Can you please just start the process? She made the appointment and everything like there was no problem. And I said, can, you just, can we just do that now? She's like, we'll just do it when we check in. And I was like, I know, but I have to wait an hour and a half. So I'd like to just, and then I sat in here in the car and I, I like put all my information in on the app, which I've used before, Solve. It was, was the app, or the company that you used for your COVID test, you know, like your vaccines or whatever, when you, back when you had to travel with an actual vaccine after COVID, that's what you used to be able to travel. So when we went to Hawaii, we had to go through Solve and, and prove our vaccines that way and our COVID testing. So I already had the app. I already had it myself in the system, updated the information, did my photo ID, did the, I, you know, uploaded my insurance card front and back, everything, everything seemed fine. You have an appointment, I can see it. Sitting right out front for an hour and a half, I've been sitting here. I go in and she's like, oh, we don't actually take that plan. She's like, well, we take that plan, but your plan doesn't actually cover urgent cares. Like, then why didn't you tell me that an hour and a half ago when you said that like you, I don't have any other option. I, I, I'm just, like I don't, I don't know where I'm going to be able to go to try and find an answer for my elbow and it really hurts. I have to do some research because the other urgent care said that I might be able to go to the hospital that's just up the hill has an urgent care and I was like okay great but I've never seen that urgent care I've never used that one before I use that hospital all the time where is the urgent care and she said it's one two three four cities over four cities away so my insurance just you know go to an urgent care four cities cities away like it'll take me an hour to get there so then I need to see if that one actually I don't know how to, I don't know what I'm gonna do I'm so frustrated I really was hoping to start to get answers today. And I was like, trying to like put my, just trying to like take care of myself because I was just putting it off. Because I wanted to take care of the trip and make sure everyone was having a happy time and not worry about myself being hurt. I wanted everything else to go okay. And I must do that, right? Like, well, it makes sure everyone has insurance and everyone has themselves taken care of and everyone has their doctor appointments and everyone but you don't take care of yourself as so I finally was gonna take care of myself and now I can't. Health insurance in this country is awful. It's absolutely awful. I just just bending my arm to put my camera down. Now I now knowing I can't go get it fixed. It's just gonna be on my mind more. I'm sorry, I just need to like Alright, I am doing a lot better than you guys saw me last. Situation is still at hand, but I had a good cry with Jason and then a good cry with my dad. And an hour trying to like go through my my insurance plan online to see if there was any other doctor I could go to. I literally have one clinic. It has five doctors at it. That's my only option. We're changing our plan in November, I can guarantee you. Um, and that's the, the office that I've already called that said, I think I actually called like twice, not knowing I was calling the same office. But anyway, I'm gonna tell them, look, you have to do emergency appointments. It's an actual family practice, like, I could take my kids there. And kids have emergency appointments 
all the time. My kids go to emergency pediatrician appointments all the time, but they are given that option. So if this is an actual family doctor, you should have an emergency appointment option. So I am going to do my best on Monday to demand an emergency appointment. There's an, I have zero option. Even if I pay the $450 to go to the ER, they can't help me. I, I would pay $450 for the referral to an orthopedic specialist, which now I'm wondering if I even have covered under my plan. So I, I don't know. But my dad is insistent that I get this checked out. He's like, I know what's wrong with it and it needs to be fixed. Did Jason put the cake in here? He did. We have a cake. That thing is so delicious looking. It is the strawberries and cream bar cake from Costco. It's one of our friend's birthday tonight and so we're gonna celebrate with that. And I'm glad that I have that cake because I don't really have the mental capacity to put together a veggie tray or a fruit tray or make a dip with chips. I don't have that in me tonight. Um, luckily Jason got home fast today, had a chance to eat. I had half of his dinner already made for him. Come on lighting, fix. So I could definitely use some fun time tonight. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna have, I'm gonna go get those other cards really quick. You can come and hop in the car. I'm gonna get my Hawaii cards. I know they have playing cards, but I'm, hopefully the other couple comes. This one is super tired, huh? Should I show them your cake or no? It's kind of bad. It's kind of what? Bad. Kind of bad? We'll just take these two. It's not bad, it's cute. That's the cake that Ashley made today and we'll have that. You should put some sprinkles on it. Oh, that's okay. Do sprinkles on top. We'll do that for Chelsea's birthday tomorrow. Okay, we'll see you later. Maybe go take a shower and climb into bed in like two hours. Okay, or an hour. You're already tired. Okay.